Hi guys, hope you're okay. I thought I'd show you something I've been working on recently. Um, these are old paintings that I've done on very heavy um, paper, like almost like watercolour paper, but it's called etching paper. And I've basically just, can you see, I've um, cut them up and I've painted the other side and then I've, what I've done is I've covered this in wax but you could cover it in PVA or something, I'll show you how to do that and then because it's quite bendy I can bend it round to make pots and basically that's just like a 3D painting I could put that in a frame as it is, quite like it as it is, it's nice and textural, it's got gold leaf on it or I can make it into something more 3D like that um, and what I've been using are plastic containers inside. That doesn't really make them totally waterproof. Here's one. Um, but it means you can put things in like pencils. You could put water in, but you'd have to be really careful. And I'm, you know, I'm not sure you should do that. But anyway, you could put dried flowers in. Here's another one. Can you see? Uh, painted that kind of grey inside. Okay. So I've been looking at what I've got in my memory box because I was thinking about you guys. So I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to position the camera and come back. So these are old pictures that I found in my memory box. This one is from my daughter. Um, this one is quite a recent one, actually, that my son made. And here's one, look, from a year six child. Can you see? So I thought what I might do is use these to make a kind of vessel shape. So let's choose this one to start with. Now, if I bend that round, that's quite thin paper. And also, these guys, they're kind of sticking out a little bit and I might want them to position them a bit more. So let's see what we do next. So now I've done that, I want to use a bottle. This is an old plastic drink bottle. And I'm going to make something for the inside. Now, normally I'd use a modelling knife, but today I'm going to try and use scissors because I want you guys to use scissors. And I don't want to go too high up. If you have a look here, I don't want to go right up to here. I want to go to about three quarters of the way. So I'm going to go about here on that line. I might just make an incision with my knife just because I can but you guys don't you be using one of those knives get an adult to do it for you okay and then I can just trim off it doesn't have to be totally perfectly even as even as you can make it okay now we've got that I'm going to wrap this around now I may have to lose some of this because otherwise it's going to be a bit too thick on one side can you see let's see how we get on okay is something that you might have made earlier something you made in school or at home 
and you might have lots of pictures around you could use to do this with or you might want to start from fresh if you have any of this this is watercolor paper and it's quite thick and it's ideal and it's got a nice kind of um, textured finish I don't know if you can see that close up but it's quite rough on this side a bit smoother on this side so I quite like that more textured side so I thought maybe we could do one from scratch so I've cut this out to go around a bottle a tiny bit of water still in it and I'm going to wrap that round like that and we don't need to add card to that because watercolor paper is already quite stiff but still flexible enough to work so I've cut it out to the shape I need that will wrap round and then I'll get my watercolors out
Okay, so I noticed when I put the PVA on that the paint runs. And I could have just stopped there and it would have been okay, but actually I quite like it. I quite like what it does, so I'm going to show you. If you want to leave yours, don't put PVA on, if you want to leave it like that. But I quite like the way that it smudges a little bit. Can you see? So I'm going to do that all over. Probably should have done this before I put it on the bottle, but I'm sure you'll know how to do that. You can learn by my mistakes. Every time I do these videos, I learn something too.